Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to make your own seed paper. So what you're going to do is make some paper, put some seeds in it, great for gift tags and for cards and any other crafts you can think of. Every gardener would love to receive this and you can easily attach some instructions to tell them what to do, how to plant them out. It's simple, just rip it up and pl plant it out. So I'm Christine of Christine's Crafts and this channel's all about crafting on a budget. So to make your seed paper you're going to need some sort of bowl, only a small one. You're going to need some seeds, whatever seeds you select. I've used some wild flowers here, but you can select whatever you like, perhaps something particular to you or the person it's for. You're going to need some sort of frame to make your paper in. This is a frame I've made just using four popsicle sticks. You could also use an old picture frame. It doesn't matter so long as you've got some sort of frame to attach your cloth to. You're also going to need some cloth to attach to that frame. Now I've got a piece of cheesecloth here. It doesn't matter so long as it's a thin cloth that your water will easily pass through. You can see it's just larger than my frame so that I can attach it easily. When it comes to attaching it, you could staple it on, but I prefer to use these little clips, just stationary clips. Holds them on nicely and it helps that I can take them off to get the paper out when I've finished using the frame. You're going to need some sort of blender or mixer. I use a stick blender like this into a glass. You may have one already with um, a container for it. Doesn't matter as long as you've got some sort of blender. Some old towels. These are some old kitchen towels because you're going to try and get all your moisture out. And some paper. Now, as you can see, I'm using up shredded paper. You don't need to. You can use any paper you've got. The key thing is going to be that it has to be small pieces. So I find using the shredded paper means I'm halfway there already. So the first step is going to be dealing with that paper. So get yourself a bowl and put some water in it. I use warm water because I believe that it soaks in a lot better, a lot quicker. But I have no scientific evidence for that. So just break your paper up, tear it up, get it nice and small and fill your bowl of water. Now, obviously, the more seed paper you want to make, the more paper you need to soak. So it's entirely up to you how much you want to do. Perhaps you just want to do a little bit and try it first. You'll also notice I'm mixing some white and some yellow so that I end up with some yellow seed paper that's paler than the yellow paper I'm using. You can try lots of different combinations of colours. Paper napkins are a great way to add some colour to some white paper. It's entirely up to you. Get creative. Perhaps you want a colour to match the seeds. So once it's been soaking, I usually leave mine a good hour or so, you want to take some of that, place it in a glass and blend it. Now obviously if your blender has a container, you're just placing it in the container of your blender. You'll see I don't put too much in. Um, I've found that trying to just do it directly in the bowl doesn't work for me, but if I put it in a narrow glass, it blends it beautifully. What you want to end up with is a puree so that you can't tell any of the pieces of paper that you started with. It's just a mushy mess. Okay and once you've got it like that you need to keep that somewhere and then do another load and another load until you've pureed all your paper. Now obviously if you have a big blender you might just do it all in one go but I don't. So you can see it's just a a puree paste and that's going to be great so I've just got another bowl to tip it in and then go again with the next load and just keep blending once you've got all your puree it's time to mix your seeds in it's up to you how many you don't want too many because otherwise they'll end up sown too close together but sprinkle your seeds and then mix it in it's really important that you mix your seeds in really well because you want them to be spread throughout your seed paper. You don't want any bits of your seed paper without any seeds in it. So just take the time to give it a really good mix. You can see I'm just doing it with my fingers, but you might do it with a spoon. It's entirely up to you. Just make sure your seeds are well spread out. And then you're ready to make some paper. So the first thing I do is take one of my towels 
and lay it out on your work surface. Now, your work surface is still going to get wet, so make sure it's OK with that. Take your frame and you're going to attach your fabric. So mine's a nice piece of cheesecloth. I'm just going to place it under the frame and clip it on. If you're stapling it on, just staple along one edge, like I'm clipping along one edge. And then move on to the side and attach that down, whether you're stapling or clipping. And you're then going to start pulling this tight. The idea is that your fabric is taut on the frame. OK, so if you find you can't pull it taut, undo your clips and pull it. So as you can see, I would probably recommend that you do one side and the side opposite to make sure it's taut and then work on the other two sides. Does it matter if there's a bit of give and it's not completely tight? No, because you're going to have your towel underneath anyway. So do the other two sides, clip it on tight. It's just to hold it in place while you make your paper onto there. And the final side, and then you've got your paper making frame all ready. Keep it on your towel. Again, if your towel's got a smooth surface, it'll help you get a nice smooth paper. You can see that mine's quite rough. Doesn't matter, I'm happy with a, a rough surface. And now all you do is take some of your pulp and push it into the frame. Now, the more you push in, the thicker your paper's going to be. So if you want very fine paper, make sure you don't push too much in. It's a little bit of a, a learning curve here of just putting it in and trying it, seeing what your paper's like at the end. And if you decide it's too thick, next time you do it, make some thinner. If it's so thin you can't get it out of the frame, you're going to have to add some more pulp. So just see how you go. Just make sure you cover the whole of the fabric inside your frame. And you can see I'm just pushing it up to the edge, just making sure it's nice and flat and making sure it's completely covered. Just work it with your fingers until you're happy that it's got about the same thickness all the way across. Once you're happy, get one of your other towels and press it onto the pulp. It compresses the paper so that you get a nice tight set up so that your paper doesn't fall apart and it also pushes a lot of the water out so the water's going into the towel below and into the towel above so it's starting to dry your paper and all these things mean it should hold together when you try and take it off the frame you can see the large amount of water on the towel underneath so i've moved it across so that it'll soak some more and I'm using a different part of the top towel to get more and more water out. The more you can get out, the better. Once you're happy, you've got all the water out you possibly can. It'll be time to remove it from the frame carefully and place it somewhere to dry. I tend to use a baking tray just because I have some large flat baking trays that work really well for it. So because I've used clips, I can just unclip the fabric and take the paper out. If you've stapled your fabric on, you'll just have to be a little bit careful trying to lever it out. So I've just allowed mine to drop through and then take it off the fabric and there's my seed paper. And just repeat. And obviously if you want large pieces of seed paper, just use a large frame. And that's it, leave them to dry. Mine take two or three days, but it depends on how wet it is where you are and how hot it is and how dry the air is. So here are some examples of cards that you might use them for, use them for gift tags, anything you like. Bookmarks are a great one too. So thank you for watching. Good luck with your seed paper and I hope your gardening friends love it.